Welcome, friends of the Crawford, to part two, our Art Park about and Sir John Benson. And Bernadette and I are very excited today because we're finally able to tell you the exciting news we've been hinting at over the last few weeks. And that is that you, the friends of the Crawford Art Gallery, through your membership, have acquired a wonderful painting by James Manny um, of the 1852 official opening of the National Exhibition of the Arts. Um, manufacturers and products of Ireland depicting a building by Sir John Benson and that is the reason that we're standing here today it's because we're standing on the site of another design of Sir John Benson's and we're going to talk about that in a second. So last week we took you through the English market and we talked about the fantastic innovative design of um, Sir John Benson in the use of the laminated wooden trusses which he bent into a semicircular shape and is seen in the painting of James Manny of that building that housed that na national exhibition on the site where the City Hall now stands today and we took you to the site itself and we, we chatted about um, what that building would have looked like and how it was so lightweight the roof line that it was able to be reconstructed and put at the site where the um, our own wonderful building now stands so it was right next to us there for quite a while as the Athenaeum. These buildings here behind me are a great example of Sir John Benson's um, signature design style. In the use of the polychromatic um, stone with the alternating between the red uh, sandstone and the grey limestone and the round headed openings to the doors and to the windows. And of course the limestone coins on the buildings as well. So we've seen his style on the streetscape of um, Cork City from the Firkin Crane to the Butter Market to the um, English Market. And here we are again at a fabulous example um, of one of his buildings, which has really stayed testimony to the legacy of um, um, architecture in Cork City. And this again will be reflected in this wonderful painting by James Manny that we cannot wait to show you. Um, which will be soon unveiled and gracing the walls of the Crawford Art Gallery. All right, dear, when you're ready. So friends, to conclude our cork about on Sir John Benson, we've brought you out to St. Finbar's Cemetery in Glasheen. Um, a cemetery actually that has given us so much of cork bouts over the lockdown period. So we've been here for the Seamus Murphy and we've also been here for our Citizen Nowhere, Citizen Somewhere connection with Terence McSweeney whose burial place is here in the cemetery. So coincidentally enough, it's here again we're standing for Sir John Benson um, for his design of the Church of Ireland Mortuary Chapel here behind me dating from 1867. And again, as we mentioned earlier with the Cork City Waterworks, his design style of polychromatic use of stone in that case it was limestone and redstone. In this case it's the limestone and basalt. So that's a very unusual um, choice of stone for this part of the country and it's a very distinctive in appearance and in character. The Hiberno-Romanesque influence is very evident in this building, in particular in the round tower here behind me, um, which is, as Bernadette has pointed out, full of nesting birds currently. And the pitched roof with the use of um, slate and in the slate we've got the courses of scalloped slate which is particularly beautiful. Um, this uh, building dates to 1867 and while we're here we're also thinking about Sir John Benson's final resting place. Um, Sir John Benson passed away in Brompton in London in, um, in 1874, so that became his final resting place. So if you want to visit the cemetery yourself and have a look at the two mortuary chapels here and inside in the um, gable fronted court, you'll also see the beautiful ceramic tiles in the floor, but there is a little plaque there with Sir John Benson's name as architect on the inside of the doorway. And 
if you want to have a look at um, his fabulous uh, design in the painting, we'll be looking forward to welcoming you as soon as the gallery opens. And uh, hopefully that won't be too um, long now. And we'll be able to see for ourselves his wonderful design in the James Manny painting that was recently acquired by yourself, the friend.